heroes can be described as what? Emperors? No. Historians? Maybe. Legends? No. Stories? Probably not. Historians is probably your best answer. West African scholars were usually illiterate, spoke and wrote Arabic, tried to stop the oral tradition, or used only vernacular languages. And probably the scholars spoke and wrote in Arabic. Griots were often found at what? Marriages, advising rulers, passing along customs, or all of those? And I think all of those are our best answer. Let's see how we did. Historians, spoken wrote in Arabic, all the above. First to the shipment of African slaves across the Atlantic. And that is known as the Middle Passage. The total number of people shipped to the Americas is estimated to be 8 to 12 million. The Middle Passage was part of a larger trade network known as the Triangular Trade Network. Let's see how we did. Uh huh. Middle Passage. Boom. Got that. country played the largest role in ending Great Britain's participation in the transatlantic slave trade? Which country played the largest role in ending Great Britain's participation in the transatlantic slave trade? That'd probably be Great Britain themselves. In addition to being an abolitionist, William Wilberforce was a Quaker, a slave trader, a prime minister, or a member of parliament. I believe he was a member of parliament. The last country in the Western Hemisphere to ban the transatlantic slave trade was Brazil. Okay. Great Britain, member of parliament, and Brazil. Today, and then you can knock it out. 